shout out to Ray for driving this piece right here. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Redline Mods. What we have here today is a Honda Pilot SE All Wheel Drive 2021 as requested black on black. This is what we got on black on black. Let's do a quick walk around with it and we'll go for a short drive. So make sure you guys watch the old videos to know all about it, most of it. And that's how the front looks. It kind of rained outside uh, today in the early morning. So this is what you have, brand new. Just the front look of it, it's very beautiful. I love it. The shape of it is very subtle. This is a mid, uh, yeah, mid-sized family sedan, I would say. Um, where is it? 20-inch alloy wheels right here. These are 20s. What do you guys think about the new design on these wheels? Comment below what you guys think. Yes or no? And you have the LED over here for the signals. And then you have keyless entry. I'm going to show you guys real quick what's going on and on with this reflection. <laughs> Saying what's up to everybody. Yo. <laughs> and then uh, right here, you can see the pilot badge. Then you have the special editions for the SE stands for. All wheel drive. And what's cool about this, check this out. You just kind of, you know, do a quick drop in, like, watch, right in the center. Look at that, it opens up. So if you're holding groceries and stuff, like a 24 pack water bottle with both hands and, or whatever you're carrying and you can't drop it back down on the ground and you don't want to, simply just, you know, put your foot in underneath and quick right back out in a second. To close it back down, you could simply press this button right here but let me show you real quick since I'm in the back already. You have some more storage room over here in the back and it says spare tire. So I'm assuming you have to pop this out. Oh, well, well, you have to pop this out. And you might see a like a, a bolt connection. So you see the, the tire will drop down in case you need a spare tire. And then you have some storage over there. You have some storage over there. You have your speaker sound system in the back as well. Over here, you have an outlet right there. And this one has, I don't know what this is. It's like a gas. Comment below what you, I don't know, try to, um, you know, kind of pop it, but it's really tight. So whatever, possibly it's for putting gas from the back with this cone, who knows. Um, but yeah, so you could either click this and close it, or you could just do this really quick and leave. nice and it's locked in let's go in the back you have a third brake light right above there in the middle and then you have the railing black railing on top and as well as you have a sunroof on top as well so you do have a keyless entry on both sides let me just go ahead and start it up and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. See, as long as the key's on you. Um, let me just go ahead and show under the hood real quick. You can open the trunk from here as well and the gas, um, to open the gas, the gas cap area, this is here as well. And I'm assuming this capless. Yeah, this one won't. Even if you press the unlock button, everything is unlocked. It still won't, so it has to be opened with this. There you go. It is capless. There you have it. Make sure you click it back in so it locks in. And looking under the hood, what we got here. That's what we got under the hood, guys. Everything is covered by covers <laughs> if you remove these covers then you'll see a lot of wires and everything like that or whatever connects to what it's spacious inside it does have a lot of space to work with if anything i'll go ahead and put it down 
Yeah, I don't think it closed really tight, but I'll smack it down. That's fine. And when you guys try to open this, some make sure the you push it towards the right. So go towards the right when you when you grab that lever area, pull it towards the right and and pull up. So right there, drop it real quick. There you go. And going inside, these seats do have a set right here, one and two. So whatever you uh, set it as, it's gonna do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead inside real quick and start it up. And the seat, and the seat actually moves to whatever it was before. So I'm a really tall person, so I'm gonna push this seat back really quick. And it's motorized, so let me show you guys really quick. Right here, see? Forward, backwards, and this is for the, for like the head area in the back. And you can also go up, see how it's going upwards? Or if you'd like to sit low, comes downwards. Yeah, just like that. And you can move only this area as well for like the leg, the thighs area. See? But if you put both up, the whole lever up, the whole seat's gonna come up. So the whole thing is adjustable. And then you have this for your lower back. You'll feel it when you move this um, and you're sitting and you move it around, you'll feel it to get that comfortable sweet spot on the lower back. Um, yeah, I really like the center console area right there. It's pretty awesome. Let me show you real quick in the back before we go for a drive. So in the back, you have plenty of storage area. Look at that. Cup holders, two storage, storage here, more. Um, you have storage over here for like books and whatever. And these are just mats, brand new. It's fully leather. And then you have seats in the back as well. And then of course, my awesome gadget. I got on Amazon for POV driving. And yeah, and the same thing on that side. You have the um, cup holders and everything like that. More storage, of course. You have the handles and then you have the dome lights over here. One here, one in the middle, two in the front. You have the moonroof over there. And yeah, it's awesome. And now we'll go, and then as you can see those small clips over there, that's for the shade. If it's like sunlight and everything like that, that's for the shade. It's just like right here. See? And going forward with this, you can move the seats. You would pull this lever up. And it comes in the in the front. Like it moves up forward. And then you just hit this. And it falls right down. And check what you have. You can drop right back there now. Um, there you go. Ah, uh, you could even press this button, guys. Check this out. I just found out. I'm gonna go put it all the way back again to like its normal position as it was and press this button right here. Look at that, it does everything for you. I know in the older models, we actually do it manually with this in the front. And then look, check here, you can do it from here as well. Just by pressing it wherever you're easy. Like it's right there behind it. If you're sitting in the back and you need the seat to be moved forward, this is for the back passengers to move out easily. If obviously there was nobody sitting in the front, they would press the button here and the seat would roll up and down and then you would come right out. So, Put it back to where it was. Show you real quick in the front. That's the MSRP. I hope you guys could see it. Um, yeah, it's right there. Forty-one thousand eight hundred and ten. 
all the technical features, the safety features, and no extra cost, standard equipment, stuff like that, interior features. Everything is right there. Yep. It is a 280 horsepower, 3.5 liter VTEC V6 engine. So it's a nine speed automatic transmission. All wheel drive, intelligent traction management, hill start assist, cool. Good to know. All right, now I'll get back in. What we have here is we have touch screen, screen right here. All the buttons are touch, back, you know, even this, see that? Brightness. And then audio on and off. We keep it off right now. You have the vents over here on the sides, one in the back, and on top you have them in the back as well. I forgot to show you earlier. And you do have a USB gig. You can control your own, um, um, you know, fan temperature in the back right there which is kind of awesome and how much storage space we have here plenty and we have a lot of storage on this side as well guys for the drivers as well so yeah plenty of space to put things around and then you have the left and the right side mirrors to control close the door really quick and i'll show you get the mosquito out so as you can see that and you just get this on the left side and then you can control it from there see wherever is wherever you could see and then you'll do the same thing over there kind of set it up and then you put it back in middle so you don't mess it up by pressing these um yeah and then you can just press two well it's going back to two so I'm gonna move the seat back to my comfortable position where I'm comfortable. Then you would press set, and you can set it on one or two, whatever your choice is. I'm gonna press one for now. Whenever I press one, it's gonna to go to my comfortable spot. That's how you set that up. And you do have the auto windows that will, you click it twice, it comes completely down on its own. Then you pull it up, twice clicks, and it comes up completely. The back ones, you actually have to hold it until it completely shuts up and right here you have the features safety features you press this button off-road mitigation off and now it's on and then you have the collision it doesn't show up anything there but okay cool maybe there you go you have to press and hold all right i'm pressing and hold it and now it's on make sure it's on then you have the eco mode so it turns eco mode you press the button now it's off and yeah you have the home button you have your own you know speaker uh you can um pick up the phone end the call you have your cruise control and everything here volume you have your windshield wipers right here controllable to take the speed of it from here um you know how fast you want it and then if you want it really fast you just come all the way down and you what else is called we have the AC and everything here. You have heated seats, high, medium, low, off. Your AC system is right here. It was blasting. I'll put it on low right now because it's nice out. So a little bit of cool is great. Um, yeah, when the front, the rear, and the rear lock, you can rear lock. And that means the back, they can't, I would say they can't change the um their temperature and they also have like a usb port as well i forgot to mention i think yep they also have two usb ports right there and change the temperature like that and some storage area here again and this is wireless so if you, if you have a new phone and stuff like that samsung galaxy whatever iphone just drop it right here it'll be wireless charging and then Two cup holders everything is buttons right here and over here storage you have outlet over there you have a usb over there um storage if you see this 
thing right here in the back, pull it out, you got more storage. And you could hide that on the side. So I say we are good to go, right? This is a moon roof, of course, sunroof, whatever you want to call it. You have some for the shades, but that is pretty cool actually. I never saw this thing before. It puts shades here and it's pretty it's it's nice texture and texture inside. It's not like plastic, so it won't make that sound like vibrating type of sound like a rattling sound when your shades are there and plus it's going to protect your lenses as well but check this out this is cool nice and then the, this one they, they do have uh lights it's open there you go and yeah we'll set this up a bit and then i'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera right now we'll go for a short drive let me know uh, what you guys think about the review and make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already uh share the video with your friends and family i would appreciate that and um yeah let me set this thing up real quick and we'll go for a drive all right camera's ready show you guys the reverse camera right here changes narrow wide keep that drive press drive you're gonna have drive one if you press again you're gonna see a s that means it's in sport mode so i'm gonna put it in drive it's 280 horsepower 3.5 liters uh v6 nine speed automatic transmission it's a vtec so we'll go for a nice comfortable ride i see some nice audis over here Let's see if i could drive those Let's get out to the parking lot and we'll see for a drive. Nice. Yeah, pickup is really great on this SUV. I feel like I'm sitting like in a really high car, like a Jeep. Um, the height of this thing is awesome. Even though my seat is a bit lowered, and still I feel like I can see really far down the road with this. This is very open. Fix my mirror really quick. There we have it. pretty smooth and comfortable it's the inside I don't hear the road noise as well that means the tires from inside must have those foams to keep it quiet and also the window the windshield might be a bit thicker um, to keep the outside noise out and not bring it in so it's it's very comfortable Yeah, super quiet idle. And yeah, it, it also has um, auto off and on. Here, right there, the buttons right here. Now it's off. Nice. I like it. This is a great family car. If you're looking to get one for a good deal, make sure you guys see Ray. I want to go make a nice quick UE over here, make a U turn. Um, once this guy goes away, I'll make a nice uh, video on another cars you guys want me to make on. I'll put Ray's this um, you know information in the description below. Give him a call, text him, email him. I'll put the website as well so you guys can see what's in inventory. We'll put it in sport mode actually. You can also change it while driving. Wow. That is crazy. Sport
Board mode is something else, for sure. <laughs> this thing is fast, of course it'll be faster, because uh, it's faster than a, than a, obviously a 1.5 at the Accord, because like at 192 horsepower, this is 280. It's a 9 speed as well. So I'm waiting for a green light and then we'll go ahead, take off and we'll see where it goes. Yeah, that was nice, honestly. It was even for like a five, ten seconds. I'm gonna stay quiet and rev it, like just go. This is great. It's quick. The pickup is quick on sport mode. You're probably gonna stay in sport mode if you got this car. It does have paddle shifters too. Let me just put the... It's in sport mode, I'll put paddle shifters on. And I'm in first gear right now. The car is gone, so we'll go ahead and launch it from here. shifters are responsive as well very quick yep comment below what you guys think of the video I hope you enjoyed it and comment below what you guys want to see next as well and i'll try my best to get that for you in and i appreciate the support you guys provide to me make sure you guys are subscribed and enable the notifications that's all i got for you take it back to the dealer and take a nice uh thumbnail Parking lot right here, quick.